and in order to adjust these they currently grow once I hover over them and that makes us gives us the ability to push everything to the right the reason for that being is that they grow about five percent and there are currently these block pre blink blink blocks they have a width of 100 percent so let's try to push that uh, let's try to give them some width that allows us to still let them grow without uh, giving us the ability to push everything to the right in order to do so i'm going to select the block preview link block and i'm going to reduce the width to 90 percent and make sure we give it some margin of five percent at the left hand side that centers them and now if we they grow, we can't push this side to the right anymore. Now, the next thing is these images here don't look that great and they are all of different sizes and we should maybe make them stretch all the way here. In order to make them stretch, we should give this block preview text again a height, which we haven't given it so far. Let's try for the moment 300 pixels in height. That also fixes the height for all of them at the same height. And then let's select the block preview image and set its height to 100%. And make sure that we center the image. So right now we can't really see much of these images. So I'm going to go down to backgrounds, image and gradient, and make sure that this image is centered. Now this looks already a lot better. Let's see if we can reduce some white space here. I'm going to set that to 60. And probably at the bottom node I should is fine in my opinion. All right. Let's inspect the next page, the get guide. And I think what we could do here is create some space. This is too, ne too, too far to the side, in my opinion. Maybe we can move this surfer in. So in order to do that, I am going to select the surfer. I'm going to set it to center. Yeah and then make sure that we reduce this box a bit. Uh, we can give this some padding, push it in a bit and make sure that this text wrap is a bit narrower. So let's set that to 300 pixels, maybe 350 pixels. There we go. So, and then Let's see what we have here. We have a container and let's give this container a class. And set the padding to 10% on both, uh, 10 pixels on both sides. All right, I think this looks pretty decent for the moment. And the next thing we want to do is we want to check out the block template. And again, I think what we can do is just give it some, this whole thing, some padding. And I'm just going to select the section, give it 10 pixels padding on both sides. So we have some space. It's not exactly, not directly at the border of our screen. Otherwise, I think we can leave it for the moment as is. Now let's publish everything again and then test it again in Chrome. Because sometimes things look a bit different on the preview here on Webflow than they do look in reality. And I found for testing these kind of things, Chrome to be a lot more helpful than the 
preview Webflow is offering us. So let's reload this page. And as you can already see, we still have some issues here with our text. It looks different in the blog in a Webflow preview than it does in the Chrome console. And if you are in doubt, it's always helpful to check this out on a mobile phone as well. Now, the other thing I'm noticing right now is this is awful. We need to definitely fix this styling. And uh, let's take a look though at some other pages before we do that. I think here it looks fine. This also looks fine. Again, this looks fine. And also this looks fine. So let's go about fixing this area here and make sure that this hero actually looks proper. For that, I'm gonna swap back to the designer.